Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you what I like to pack in my diaper bag with a toddler and six months uh, pregnant. So I have a toddler that is currently 23 months old. And yeah, I'll, we're gonna go to the park tomorrow, uh, probably in the morning. So I wanna have all this packed. So I just cleaned it. I did have like random things in there from like wigs, like receipts. Uh, I had like empty food wrappers. So anyways, it's, this is gonna be like a fresh start, fresh packing. So I'll show you quick uh, what I packed for that. And also for all of you who don't know, I am also uh, the owner of this brand, Amiliardi. So I'll give you kind of like a quick overview of the bag and the pockets and all that. And then we can uh, start uh, packing. So you guys maybe can get some ideas. So yeah, let's get started. All right, so I'll show you against the front. So this is our Rose uh, diaper bag, which I love. I do have a boy, uh, but I honestly don't care carrying a pink one because the bag at the end of the day is kind of like for me, for the mom. So I, I love to carry uh, this one the most, the rosé one. All right, so let's show you quick. Let's open it. All right, so the front pocket, let me show you. We have here kind of like a mesh, kind of like my computer here and I'm gonna be kind of like checking in case you guys are, uh, you know, making sure you're getting the right angle. So here's a mesh pocket. We have a mesh pocket over here and we have three uh, fully insulated pockets. Okay, so I guess there. All right, so those are the fully insulated pockets. You can fit uh, almost like any bottle in the market, like tall, uh, Dr. Brown, eight ounces, Com I think Komotomo probably in the side. I'll show you the side. But uh, they're like pretty spacious. So mostly all the uh, bottles in the market, except for, like I said, the Komotomo because they're made of like silicone. So it's kind of like hard just between the silicone and, and these. So that's the only thing, but you can put them inside and I'll show you where. So yeah, um, that's the front pocket and let's go in the, to the inside. So this is inside of the bag. We also have two other insulation pockets in here. Oh, let's see if you guys can see like this. This is one and the other one is the same, but it's just like right there, right, right there. So two insulated pockets, fully insulated as well. Super, super spacious, like great for snacks. And we do have like kind of like number six over here, kind of like for your mommy drink. Let's see if I can do magic here. Perfect. So that's a total of six insulated pockets. All right, so let's keep uh, showing you the inside. It has like, like a small zipper pocket here for small items. We have um, two rouge pockets, which are like honestly great for diapers, I will say. And um, let me show you the last one. Okay. The last one. Oh, by the way, we have this pocket over here, which you can use to access the inside of the bag. So it's not an extra pocket, it's just to access the inside. So I'll show you what I like to put under here so I can like utilize this, uh, this zipper, this back zipper, and it's really easy to access things. So I'll show you later. And then we have a small uh, kind of like uh, waterproof pocket so you can put wet items. So it's a small bag, you can fit kind of like a shirt or a small um, clothing, diapers. All right, so let's start packing. So we're gonna go to a bar tomorrow. This is what I like to pack. I will say park, restaurants, and I will say the beach. I will park, I will pack kind of the same thing. Probably the beach, I will pack um, more clothing and more snacks. But yeah, all right, let's get started. I um, guess I'll show you the front first, what I pack. I'm gonna put it on my knee here so you guys can see better what I like to pack. All right, so for the front pocket. All right, so first I like to pick one of these for my mommy things. So I'll do my glasses, my, glasses, my sunscreen. Either I put um, like a lipstick. I guess I'll put it over here. 
know what? I'm gonna tie these so it doesn't get in the middle where I'll show you. So, um, since I have a toddler, I don't need that many bottles anymore. I'll show you where I'll put his bottle. I usually like to put it in the inside. I like to carry kind of like a mosquito theme for the, especially for the park. And I mean, we live in Florida and whenever it rains, uh, just get really crazy with the mosquitoes sometimes. All right. And I like to carry one of like alcohol wipes in here in the mesh pocket. Also my mommy things so like a chapstick, put over here. And I like to have my uh, hydration mist, to be honest. Like I said, we live in Florida, so we need this to hydrate sometimes, especially in park. And here we should, oof, and I have kind of like a random uh, nail file in there. So that's what I like to keep in here. Like I said, since I don't have a newborn anymore, well, I'll have it soon. <laughs> I, I don't pack, I don't pack any bottles there. So anymore, for now, I guess. So let's go to the inside. All right, so I have a toddler, so two diapers is more than enough. These are uh, diapers number four. So I like to put one in each of the rouge pocket. Ooh, one and one. Two is more than enough for a park. Park, even for the beach, for a restaurant, it's fine. All right, so um, I'm gonna start showing you what I like to pack. What I like to put at the bottom. So what you put at the bottom is gonna be the things that you're gonna access like easily, you know, that you're gonna be able to pull or put back. Even if you have things on top, I will kind of like push them up and put whatever, you know, let's say if I put this up, put it back inside, it's pretty easy. Okay, so let's keep going. Uh, so let's do maybe this tiny one. In here, I like to carry this especially for the beach, pretty much. That's why I carry that. A sunblock all the time. Always, 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 always. Whenever, whenever I go, because toddler skin and baby skin is still like really, really um, delicate. So you always want to carry like a sunblock, some sort of like protection. Band-Aids, you need them just in case. So that's pretty much what I pack in here. All right, um, all right so let's start packing the bottom. For the bottom, I do like to have wipes. I these are travel wipes. If I go to the beach, maybe I'll carry the the like a thicker pack, uh, like a, the normal one. But it's everything comes down to weight. So if I carry like a heavier one, it's gonna be like more weight on my shoulders. I mean, it all depends on where you pack, right? So I like to do travel wipes, like usually kind of like new one, depending on where I'm going. So I put it right at the bottom. And then I'll pack, I usually like to do one change of clothes. Like I said, with a toddler, most likely I won't use it, but I have it just in case, you know? Also over here, so that's how it looks so far and the wipes are at the bottom. And then I like to pack our diaper changing pad. This is the Greystone one, which I love the combination we also have it in pink but i have a boy and i guess i don't mind about the diaper by carrying a pink one but i kind of like don't like to pull like a pink diaper changing pad you know with a boy so i love this combination this is a gray stone it's also by our brand Amiliardi. it's pretty it's a really good size it has like a cushion pillow and yes waterproof over here and this is water resistant. So you will have like a few seconds to wipe quick before the water kind of like penetrates. So yeah. So the changing pad. So the changing pad, I like to put it like towards touching the diapers like this. Oh my God, with this pregnancy, I'm like getting out of breath because I'm talking. All right, so I like to put it like this because I don't want to block. I don't like to block this, see? Because whenever I'm ready for a, for a change, I'll just pull the wipes and then put the band back in. So I don't like to block it with the, with the changing pad. So you want to leave that kind of like open. All right, so next, uh, since I pack travel wipes, I don't want to kind of like run out of uh, wipes for the day. So I carry like extra for hands and face, just in case. If I happen to carry the huge pack of wipes, like the thick one, like normal, 
probably I'll just do one huge pack. But for now, I'll do a travel one and one for hand and face. So that's there. Okay. Um, socks just in case. I don't need any more shoes because he's a toddler and he will use like his sneakers. Like I don't need that change of shoes. Depending on where I'm going. If I'm going to the beach, of course, I do need some sort of shoes or I don't know, beach slides or something. But for now, still have like so much space as you can see, like almost my entire arm. So next is pretty much uh, I'll pack the snacks. So you have two insulation buckets over here, right? Can you see it? Like fully insulated. So I utilize those four, one for cups. He's a toddler, so he probably won't drink more than this in a park or in the beach. Maybe we'll buy him something. If if I'm going for a coffee run, he'll drink like something from Starbucks or, you know. So this is all he needs, you know. Like I said, if I had a newborn, I will be utilizing all the other pockets. And I will like move my mommy things. There's plenty of space in here, as you can see. So, okay. So for the snacks, I like to carry one of these pouches. Usually I do blueberries. I think they're like less messy. Sometimes I put strawberries, it's fine. So I will put one in one side in the other side because we already packed the sippy cup. And I'll do cheeses, usually two for him. These are kind of like the whole milk. These are like the normal ones. And <laughs> these ones are for me, which are kind of like the light. Jesus, so I'll pack two for me as well. Here, start pushing. So these insulation pockets are really big. So any bottles that you cannot fit here, definitely perfect. These two pockets to pack. And I like to have these ice packs. I got these off Amazon. They came in like packs of six. So I like to kind of like put them in here for the snacks. Just in case if we don't like eat this in the park and then going back home, kind of like stay like for, for longer, you know? So, all right. So let's do. So I like to put two in here for the snacks. By the way, I could put like way more snacks in here for the, that's usually what I do for the dish. So this is what I have so far with the ice packing. And I like to put also, like one ice pack here. Really don't need two here. So I could even throw throw like a third one here, you know? So I have the insulation pocket plus I have the ice packs in there. So you can see. So we have the two wipes in there, two packages of wipes, the change of clothes, the diaper, um, the changing pad. Okay, next, I have more snacks here. I'll show you, but this is gonna go like at the end. Now, since we're going to a park or let's say if we were going to a restaurant, I do like to carry some sort of like activity for him. So these are kind of like color, uh, color one that mess free uh, coloring books. So basically you only, they can only work with these markers, which are called mess free. So these markers, mess free. Mess free, mess free. So these markers don't uh, draw on skin, don't draw on, as you can see, on, on fabric, skin, fabric, or furniture, nothing. So they only color on these things. So these are great if you guys don't know about those. So I like to pack, I like to put this in between the diapers and the changing pad. And I have, I carry usually like a tiny bag of things. So I put the markers, usually two, he doesn't need more than that. Just in case he wants me to color with him or let's say we're in a restaurant. He likes to get us involved in whatever he's doing. Definitely, you have to do a play though, especially if you're going to a restaurant, those are great. And I usually put like small truck, like just kind of like an extra thing. All right, so those, we're gonna go over here, packing in here. And at least I pack one book. One book, great entertainment, even for the car sometimes long rides, great. I usually like to do one book. So, okay, I'll keep this one in here. All right. And this is what I have so far. 
So if you have a newborn, you need to pack blankets and a bunch of things. You still have a lot of space in there. So since it's for a toddler, not only much for the pregnancy, only snacks, which I want to show you here. So that's pretty much okay. Ooh. All right. I like to carry like a pouch. So I bought, I got this pouch of Amazon, I think so. And this is what I like to carry. It's mainly for me. I had a pack already, so I'll show you. So I have also another kind of like silicone pad, uh, pouch. I got this, I think of Target, I don't remember, but you can probably Amazon, just Google it. These are great, so I have almonds. And I put it in the pouch to have everything kind of like organized um because already i mean you could put it in you could put like if you don't have the pouch you can move one of the diapers okay you can move one of the diapers you can actually move it here to the other um brooch thing you can have two diapers in there okay, you can see and then you can use this rouge pocket my knee doesn't go up. you can put all this if you don't have the pouch, for example. So you can do that. But anyways, I like kind of like have the diapers in here. Put the diapers in there. And then, so I have the pouch. Sometimes when I don't have like uh, these almonds, maybe I'll get one of these packs or vice versa. And then I usually have like small chocolate. And I put it all here. Maybe I eat one right now. Mm. I'm gonna see. And I like to put it on top of everything else. This is pretty much like this. Like that. Still, you have space to put something else. So probably that space, I'll use it for the beach. But since we're going to a park, no need. Okay, guys, I need to eat chocolate. All right, let's move on. Okay. I think we're ready to close it. I'll show you what I put on the side. Mm. Follow my keys. My keys. I usually go inside with my mommy things. And I like to put them at the bottom. Because usually when I go out, bottom, then finish my glasses and some blood. Here, my mommy things. Close the bag. Okay. Let's close it. Perfect. So what we have so far, and then on the sides, I do like to put my phone on one side so I can just easily pull it out whenever we're walking in the park or with something. Or if I'm sitting down, usually I like to kind of like hide it here. But this pocket mainly, like for me, I put my my credit card holder. It's kind of like perfect spot in there. Uh, sometimes I put like I said my phone here, but mostly I like to carry like on the side so I can like pull it. And since we're, you know, in this like pandemic era, I do like to carry hand spray sanitizer, quick on the side, something that I can like here, reach like super quick. Also, I like to carry like extra like portable travel wipes on the side so I can just like pull them quickly. So that's pretty much the bag. All right, and um, we do have the bag also comes with Strawberry straps, which are always great. So yeah, that's pretty much where I'm taking tomorrow to the park. Like I said, I do end up uh, having random things in there, like trash, like bunch of like masks. Oh, by the way, my mask. I don't even know. I usually, I have my mask over here. It's kind of like a great space to carry all those like six masks that you collect whatever anyway so that's pretty much guys what i pack for um any outing pretty much the beach only different with the beach would be like maybe extra snacks a pair of shoes and a towel oh maybe i'll show you with a towel quick when i go to the beach so i don't have like those towels here 
The only difference with the beach would be kind of like the towel. Let's see if I'm fitting here. Towel, perfect. And shoes. I don't know. It's pretty much it. And now let me show you like why I like to put kind of like the wipes at the bottom and the clothes. Especially the wipes, I guess. I really don't like to that dig in. I mean, it's not that hard anyways, but you know, some pieces you have this, why not? Like to, I know the wipes are there. I just pull them, pull them. And then, you know, just get your shiny pad. Shiny pad, that's it. And then to put it right back in, since I told you, right? That you put it towards the diapers, kind of like move it here. You put it under the books or on top of the books, so perfect. And the wipes can definitely go back in. Since this is kind of like plastic, they slide right in underneath. So you kind of like always know where the diapers are. So, okay, so my knees don't help me. Lift. Perfect. And you have like your towel, your snacks. Perfect. Okay. okay. And honestly, of course, you can, you know, arrange it uh, however you feel like it's gonna be more comfortable for you. But yeah, um, was, that was pretty much it. So, I'll show you. Perfect. Have it ready for the park tomorrow. Show you to you quick. So yeah, that was pretty much it. What I wanted to show you, how uh, this video uh, gave you some ideas for packing. Um, I link everything. I will link everything down below in, uh, in the description box, like all the information for our brand, of our brand, uh, who we are, um, how we started the company, and all that. And I will link what I can of the things that I uh, have inside, like the pouches, I guess. Um, the coloring books and all that yeah whatever i can remember like these sippy cups are having like really good for joy this is kind of like a like a grown-up cup uh for toddlers it's the same technology the 360 so but now it comes also in this metal thing and he loves this thing um so yeah maybe these i'll link whatever i can remember and whatever i can find of the things that i use in the inside as well so yeah, I hope you guys like it. And if you have any question or any other tips also for moms and for me, you know, on how to pack a diaper bag, please, please comment down below so we can all see it. So yeah, uh, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel so you see uh, more videos like this one. See you guys next time.